Hi, Mike Mancini here with ppcvideotraining.com. Today we are talking about how to figure out what's going on with your Google Ads. All right, stay tuned. All right, so today we are going to show you exactly how to find out what is going on inside your campaigns, um, especially right after you get started. Uh, you can do this obviously after a campaign's been running for a while, but early on you kind of want to keep an eye on uh, some specific numbers that will tell you exactly where the problems are in your account. Now, they won't always come up with the solutions for you, but with that said, they will at least show you where you need to start uh, figuring out what's wrong with it. So I'm not going to show you uh, the names of these accounts. These are client campaigns. And so, uh, you know, but the information that I will show you um, is, is really all you need. You don't need to see the keywords or campaign names or anything like that. But the first place you need to always make sure that uh, your campaigns are running really uh, is to go in and go check your keywords. Once you're in your keywords area of your campaign, click on status and make sure that these keywords are running. Um, you can see that this one is below the first page bid because these change all the time. Now this ad is uh, showing now, but it is below the first page bid. And for this particular keyword, we are gonna up this bid. Now just once again, just because you um, agree, say that you'll pay that amount does not mean you'll have to, but in this particular case, we need to go through and update these. Now, this is a brand new account, so we expect this to happen a lot more, especially in the beginning, but these always change. I would suggest checking these uh, quite regularly just to make sure that they're running. The second thing you need to check is your ads. Once you click on your ads, and make sure you're at the campaign level, so you're looking at all your campaigns, go through here and say click on status again, now these are paused, but what we want to do is we want to make sure that all of these are approved. If they are not, they will show that they're not approved. And you might even see something like this. Here you can see it says approved, but it's limited because there are trademarks in the ad text. So that means that your ad may show up at certain times. It might not show up at others, but it's probably something you need to address. Otherwise, you will see that they're disapproved and it should give you a reason when you hover over this, it should give you a reason of what's going on and the reason for the disapproval. Now, let's say that all your ads are running and your keywords are good to go. The next step is, let's make sure that you have the right keywords or that your keywords are getting clicked. Now, here's some. Now, I wanna show you this one for a reason. This is a body shop, an auto body shop. And you know, so essentially they paint cars, they, they fix dents, things like that. But we, we turned this on and we had body shop as a keyword. Um, not thinking uh, just because my headspace is not in the fashion and beauty area right now, but the body shop is actually a place that sells um, is is like a, a beauty place. It sells lotions and bath stuff and and uh, you know different things, lip balms and different things like that. What ended up happening was we saw a lot of impressions, and you can see it right here. We saw a ton of impressions right out of the gate, but nobody was clicking it. So right away we looked in here and we saw that there were 170 impressions, and there were four clicks which is a click-through rate of 2.35%. With a new campaign on click-through rates, we like to see a minimum of 4%, if not more. Um, usually we hit five, six, or seven, but you know I, I'm willing to, to take four on a brand new campaign. But I noticed it was really low, it was 2.35%, so I couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, so I went to Google and I typed in the word body shop. And sure enough, up come, the first thing that comes up is the body shop, which is the, uh, the makeup or beauty place. Uh, so, you know, we took that keyword out of there and just kept in auto body shop, truck body shop, car body shop, different things like that. But that was a keyword where we were like, all right, there, there's a problem here. As you can see, there are some other ones in here, 
car painting, so car painting class, car painting salary, different things like that. And uh, so basically we were getting a lot of impressions, hardly any clicks, so our click-through rate was really low. So we went in there and we added those negative keywords to the campaign. So you can start looking at your click-through rates. So number one, I would go back and make sure that everything's running correctly, your ads, your keywords, that they're all eligible to show. Number two, I would start looking at my click-through rates. Now some people will use that and be like, well, click-through rates don't mean anything. Well, they mean if your ads are getting clicked or not. And we use it to start diagnosing a problem. It's not the be all end all. We have some that are in very competitive industries where the click through rates are not as high as we like them to be, but those keywords are still very profitable. Um, the next thing is if your, if your keywords are not getting clicked, meaning, so you've got auto body shop as a keyword and there are a ton of impressions but there are no clicks, meaning your click-through rate is just dropping out. It's below, you know, it's below that three or four percent. Um, you can go in and type, once again, always start with Google. Uh, just go to Google and type in auto body shop and take a look at what's going on, what's showing up. Now, if it's other competitors uh, and, and legitimate searches or things that you're like, all right, these are, this sh these should be here, then by all means, your problem isn't probably with your keywords or your necessarily your bids, because if you see your ads show up or you see your average position is good, then what you're probably talking about is your ads, meaning you have a problem with your ads. So go through and take a look in that specific ad group. Take a look at what your ads are saying. Are they, are they based, focused on what that keyword is? So a good example would be, and this is going to be very simplified, but if you have auto body shop um, and your ad only talks about semi trucks, so maybe you have a, a body shop that specializes in semi trucks and somebody types in auto body shop and your ad says uh, semi, -truck, uh, semi truck body shop. Obviously your ad is not very focused to the keyword itself and you might need to redo your ads. Uh, that is a, a very quick way of, of, in a very simplified way of figuring out what's going on. You have the right keywords. When you're doing a search for those keywords, the, the right businesses are showing up, um, but nobody's clicking on your ads. It's time to start taking a look at your ad. What does your ad say? Is there a bunch of misspellings? Is the ad very plain? Meaning, you know, use some calls to action you know, call today, schedule an appointment now, um, just different things. Switch your ads up. Make sure that your ad is, is appropriate for that particular keyword. Now, the last thing we're going to take a look at is the next step. So let's say your, your keyword's in the right place, your ads are showing up, your ads are getting clicked, but you're not getting any conversions. Then the next step is to take a look at your landing page. If everybody is getting all the way through the system, but you're not getting any, uh, you're not getting any conversions or any leads at all, then you know that the whole funnel itself is working or your Google ads system is working, but people are falling off at the end, meaning they're getting to your landing page or are they make sure that your landing page is running correctly. So sometimes uh, when you're building your ads, uh, sometimes landing pages get messed up or URLs get messed up and Google, um, they'll catch it eventually, but sometimes they don't catch it right away. And people might be clicking on your ad and it's going to a page that's not functioning right or that the URL is broken. Whatever it might be, check to make sure that your ad is pointing to the right place. Once it gets there, is your website really slow? If somebody clicks an ad and they're waiting for five seconds for that page to load, it doesn't matter. You're still getting charged for that click, but because on your end, that website did not load quickly enough or that person had to wait around for it, that could be happening as well. After that, make sure you go into your ads or your landing pages, excuse me, and take a look at what's going on on the page. Once again, if somebody's clicking an auto body shop keyword and they're going to a landing page that says, a uh, semi truck body shop, that's a problem. You need to take them not to the front page of your website, not to a page that has something to do with something else, 
but take them to a page that talks about exactly what they clicked on. If it's an auto body shop keyword, you take them to an auto body shop page and make sure on that page there is a place for them to do a call to action. Whether there's a form at the top to fill out, there should be a call to action for a phone number, especially if you're a service business and make sure it's a tracking phone number so you can uh, track where those leads are coming from. But if they can't take action on that page, then that's also a problem. So just to recap, number one, take a look, make sure your ads and keywords are running, uh, make sure that they're eligible to run, make sure they're not paused or that there's any problems with it. Second, go to the keywords themselves. Are they getting clicked on? If there are a ton of impressions and they're not getting clicked on, go to Google to make sure you do a search for that particular area, wherever it's at, for that right keyword. Make sure you do a search, see what's going on with that keyword. Once again, use the body shop reference. We're advertising an auto body or a car body shop um, business and the body shop, the you know gel and makeup store, whatever it might be, is the one that's coming up. That's obviously a bad keyword. Take a look at your click-through rates. Make sure that they're an acceptable level. If not, take a look at what's coming up on Google. Then, if everything is working okay, take a look at your ads themselves. If that uh, click-through rate is not as high as you want it to be, there's probably an issue with your ads. Make sure your ads are speaking directly to somebody that might click on that keyword. Now, if you have a group of keywords and there's 50 or 100 keywords all in one ad group and you're just trying to, to attract everybody with one ad, that's an issue. Then you need to start looking at keyword and ad group organization. And uh, you can take a look and do a search uh, on our channel and find some more videos about that. If people are clicking your ad, you've got a great click-through rate, then it's time to start looking at your landing pages. Are people able to get there correctly? Are they working? Um, and if they are, are they relevant to what you're talking about in the ad? Once again, use that example. You're talking about a car body shop and you take them to a page that uh, only works on semi trucks. That's an issue. That's the next place you need to look at. So now that you know what to look for, I did go ahead and I created a cheat sheet or basically a checklist for you uh, that you can download. Go ahead down below in the description. You can go ahead and download that checklist and uh, you know it'll help give you an idea of what you want to look out for and how to determine what's going wrong in your Google Ads. So as we're talking, did that help? Did there, was there an aha moment or did the light bulb go off? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know exactly a, like if there was an aha moment that you had that you were just like, oh, this has been going on in my campaign. Let us know. Let us show some other people that, you know, there are a lot of people out there that are doing this that just uh, feel like sometimes they're, they're just, uh, they're stuck and they can't get by it. They're never gonna get it. But sometimes you just need these little aha moments. Let us know in the comments below what you found. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know when we release new videos each and every week. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please like it and subscribe to our channel or share our video with someone who might find it interesting. Or if you know someone else who's in need of PPC or Google ad services, please forward our information to them. We'd love to help. Thanks for watching.